Hi, and welcome to a demo video for Naked Sky Entertainment's RoboBlitz. Uh, RoboBlitz is a game that's coming out for the Xbox 360 Live Arcade and the PC. In RoboBlitz, you take on the role of a maintenance robot named Blitz, and uh, you work at this abandoned orbital defense outpost. Essentially, it's a giant lunar space cannon. And uh, life is pretty boring at the old space cannon until one day when uh, uh, a band of rather goofy space pirates come to invade and, and it's up to you to get this this old hunkering place back up and running and, and sort of save the day. So here's Blitz. Uh, let's take a closer look at him and see what he's all about. One of the really interesting things about Blitz and all the characters in our game is that none of them are driven by any hand animation. They're all driven by a rather advanced physics simulation. So Blitz actually has a motorized ball that he rolls around on. He has servos that control his arms and he has a shock absorption system that's simulated by some physical springs. Even when he bumps his head, uh, that's all driven by physics. So here we have uh, one of the weapons in a game. It's one of the core weapons. It's called the EMP rifle, it's sort of a stun gun. And here we just want to illustrate the HUD. Notice it's very minimal. Everything you really need to know is on Blitz's back. He has the, his health on the left, and the blue meter is his energy, which is slowly recharging. And that works for all weapons in the game. So aside from the reticle, the HUD is pretty much clean. There's also this glam cam mode that I'm in right now. And, and here you have no reticle. So let's start with the arms. Uh, Blitz's grabby arms are a very unique aspect of this game. When he actually picks an object up, it, there's no canned animation. Uh, the object doesn't just float in front of him. You're actually physically picking the object up. And when you do so, you can really feel the weight in objects. Big things, small things, even this, this vent cap here that's, that's so heavy I can't even pick it up. I have to just sort of drag it along. And you can see Blitz's ball there driving him along. Now, orientation of picking things up also comes into play. So one of Blitz's core attacks is this spin attack. You can use your arms to just sort of whack things and baddies. But if you're picking up an object, uh, it's a lot more effective. So here comes a space pirate scout. He's kind of a low-level drone. And I can whack him with this barrel. And he blows up. So now that I'm holding this barrel out, can sort of swing it like a bat. You can see it can really take out baddies. And we really encourage this in levels. Like anything can be a weapon, a crate, a barrel, whatever. So here's a close-up of the bobble drone. Uh, <laughs> you can see how he's pretty goofy with his dangly physics arms there. And in groups, they have some pretty funny behavior. They, they scamper like cowards when you when you mow down one of them. Uh, the baddies all kind of have uh, little behavior aspects. Here you can see a couple of these drones. They scream and scurry away down the hall when you kill them. And the big brother comes to come get him. It's a hover mortar. Now, you're not alone uh, on, your, on your side. You have Carl. And Carl is like a friend of yours, and he makes you various tools. I'll show you one of the coolest tools in the game. It's called the P2P, the point-to-point -point beam. It's the harness you see around Blitz's neck there. So. I'll use the point-to-point -point beam, I'll fire a node, and you can see this yellow tracer appears. And it lets me fire a second node, and I just made this elastic beam that sucked that barrel into the wall. To illustrate a little more, I'll just connect two barrels here. Fire one node, fire the other, and now they're connected by this elastic beam. I'll keep doing it to more barrels. And let's get another one. And stick it on the wall. So now I basically have three barrels hanging together, and let's connect it to that first one, and voila, we have like this big hanging, bouncing, and the possibilities are endless here. I mean, you can use it on one hand to just torture some baddies, and we can sort of string them together. <laughs> and they'll kind of roll around like a, like a deformed caterpillar until they finally just strain and burst. You can use it uh, to just fling a drone against a wall. Or if you're in the electrical plant, just attach them to one of these electrified transformers and watch them fry. You can even make your own weapons. Make some nunchucks out of two barrels. We encourage that stuff. And you use them for puzzles as well. Here's a pulley. We've seen this one many times before, but wait on one end and, and it works. But if we use the P2P, if you have it, you can kind of be inventive and, and Forget using the weight, just use the P2P to open the puzzle and go on your merry way. 
Heck, you could, <laughs> you can even torture your friend Carl. Well, there's a lot of fun stuff to do with that weapon. My personal favorite is this, the, the firework launcher. You know, we, we knew we wanted to have a rocket launcher in the game, but we wanted to add a little twist. So, <laughs> that's physics at work as well. There's no animation here. It's, it's actually a rocket that applies just enough impulse to send baddies, whether they're driving baddies or flying baddies, up into the air, and then they, they pop with this rather festive fireworks display. It's a, it's a, it's a riot. Uh, lastly, I'll just show you a little bit of the hover gun. It's this mysterious glop firing gun uh, that makes things float above the ground. So in this case, we have a, a puzzle where there's uh, some items that we want across this lava pool. And um, we can use the hover gun to make these boxes float. So let's make this box float and then we can grab onto it. And that's kind of the solution to this particular puzzle is we make something float and we use it to get across a hazardous area. And the things I'm picking up right now, these space buck looking things, are, uh, we call them upgradium. And that's what you use to make weapons such as the uh, hover gun and other cool features, which you'll get a little sneak peek there. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll just leave it at that and uh, we'll leave you with a little bit of action from the game. And um, thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy RoboBlitz. Keep an eye out for the demo.